I would like you all to close your eyes. Come on, close your eyes now. Now picture an engineer. What do you guys see? Do you guys see a man working on a machine? Or do you guys see probably a very man working on a computer? Yeah, right? So raise your hands if you see a woman. Quite a few hands. Well now open your eyes, see me and raise your hands if you picture me as an engineer. Not a lot of hands, right? It's okay, I get that a lot. The truth is that I am a female engineer and I am a minority. Female engineers only make up around 7% of the entire engineering population. So why do we care? Why is it important to talk about the low representation of women in STEM? It's because engineering and STEM field are making a lot of advances in our society. They are making medical breakthroughs and some of the advanced technologies that are changing our life. And with half of the population we became, it's extremely important for us to have representation instead. When you see a building, credit goes to a civil engineer. When you see a medical equipment, credit goes to a scientist or a biomedical engineer. When you can pick up a call and talk to your loved ones, that credit goes to a medical engineer. So you see, you see the importance of STEM, you see the importance of science in our lives. Well, in order to discuss the importance of STEM, first we need to understand what STEM is. STEM basically stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. It's important to discuss women in STEM because of our extremely low representation in this field and its extremely high importance in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simu Nelson and I'm a telecommunications and networking engineer working in the technology department at JAST. During my engineering years, I was the only female student among 25 and 35 boys, while all my other class fellows were solving their assignments in their class for my study. I was the only one who was left alone to solve all those assignments on my own. And we all know over here what a problem assignment can be. And as a technical master student, unfortunately, the ratio wasn't much different. But the biggest issue which I faced was having no support system, having no female friend with whom I can break my heart out. So you see, I felt lonely on those four years of engineering. So first of all, I would like to discuss the where this problem comes from. Studies have shown that from the age of six to nine, girls start losing their interest in science and mathematics. Well, that's by a young age. And it's, it's interesting that I also heard an argument that girls don't tend to have the intelligence and the skills to work better in science. Well, it's biologically not in their nature and we can't fight nature, right? However, statistics show contradiction. It is shown in research that girls outperform boys in sciences. This proves that it's not a biological thing, it's a cultural thing. When a girl is born, most parents imagine their daughters as a future doctor, if anything at all. These thoughts, despite the well intentioned, still unfortunately limit and even at times dictate a child's future choices. During our childhood, this is, we girl, this is what we girls face. Look at a toy eye, it's a perfect example. Where for the girl's eye, you can just see beautiful dots. So, from the age of very young age, we are taught to be just beautiful. My theory is lack of encouragement is rooted in our system. The famous phrase, lo kya kehe, or what the people say, comes to our mind whenever we think about doing something which is unconventional. And therefore, we get discouraged. Thus, girls in Pakistan not only face a challenge to pursue higher studies, 
But if they decide to pursue a their education instead, the further the cut. This leads to my next point, which is lack of confidence. Now this starts from home. And I would like all of you guys who are, sat, who are sitting here, that you need to support people in your households. You need to give them the encouragement to take their own decisions. Because confidence building, it starts from home. Usually girls are not even allowed to take minor decisions in their life, which actually makes them incompetent to pursue in a creative field like engineering. And the practical world as well, where decision making is one of the strongest points. Because in a household, it's also a norm that a woman should only earn if there is a financial need. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Mainly, it is focused that education can be used in the upbringing of children. Now let's talk about women who have studied STEM, fought the challenges, and now she enters the practical world. Well, the ratio here drastically drops. When you see the percentage of women studying STEM, and you see the percentage of women actually practicing and working in the practical world, the ratio drastically drops. And when you see that there is a woman who is a mother as well, the ratio further drops. And I am here standing with a six month old baby and working in the technology industry and in operations. And let me tell you, operations work. You need to come 24 hours in the office around 88 hours of the clock. And how can we do that? I need to have the support from my institute. My institute supports me and gives me the reimbursement of daycare, gives me the reimbursement of the nanny, which in turn leads me to have the confidence to step out of my house. You see a difference an institution can make? Now that I've talked quite in detail, let me tell you the issues women face instead. I would also like to talk about a few solutions as well. Well, girls and women can be whoever they want to be and whatever they want to be. But still, in the STEM field, we see that there are many less girls and there are more men. Because of the gender stereotypes, women actually self-select themselves out of this field. Furthermore, by, the, by lack of support from their family members, they do not want to challenge those gender stereotypes and by telling their family that they are interested in this particular field. We have to work on changing mindsets and we have to work on fostering confidence in young girls. I have to talk about a few policies over here which have helped me personally and can help other women as well. When I conducted a survey for a research for this talk, I asked mostly the women who have left their careers that what are the two important factors which led you to quit your career. The first option was that the family wasn't supported. So it's extremely important to have a partner and to have the family which supports you that you can go ahead and perform your duties. And secondly, they said that their institution wasn't welcoming enough. You see, the, un the poor environment from the institution actually leads you to quit your career. In other words, there is a need to create a more inclusive environment. And by inclusive environment, I mean a an environment which is more welcoming. More welcoming to both males and females. I've already uh, told you guys and shared my experience that how am I being completely just in jazz. I faced a similar environment while I was working at NAMS as their business development manager. So there are organizations which are making women comfortable in the industry, but we need more organizations like these, more cultures like these. There are blueprints of large scale policies that have been beneficial around the world. One of this policy is known as Anthony Swan. Anthony Swan policy grants the institution on the basis of how welcoming they are to both males and females, in short, how inclusive they are. This program grants the institutions, so big names like Queen Mary, UCL, King's College, Imperial College, and a lot of institutions proudly say that their gold standard and the swan as a way to distinguish themselves from other institutions. So you see, whether in their mind the thought was to be a high-ranked institution, this still helps women out there to get better opportunities. 
So we can explore doing a similar voyage of Pentagon's final Pakistan and make the policies as similar to this as well to encourage our women as well. Another solution which can be explored at school level is to raise awareness about female role models in STEM. This is because most girls who want to pursue their careers in STEM aren't aware of any role models they want to follow. And as a human being, we actually need a guidance. We need to look up to someone with whom we can follow the footsteps and try to reach a destination. But if, as a young girl, I see that there is no one to look forward to, obviously I'll be discouraged. If we talk about chemistry, it's important to remember that Marie Curie who played a very important role in radioactivity, in cancer treatment. And just recently, a Pakistani American astrophysicist made headlines for her role in the first observation of radiation waves. This is important because a number of studies have shown that females tend to have a fixed mindset rather than a growth mindset. As a fixed mindset, to think that you are incapable of doing something because you simply lack the skills and the intellectual capability for it. And with a growth mindset, you can preserve and you can, you can face challenges as the male counterparts. So it's important for females to have a growth mindset. We, as females, have to encourage other females as well to step forward in order to have a growth mindset rather than a fixed mindset. Then it's extremely important. I would also like to highlight here that we women do not lack skills or intelligence. What we lack is lack of resources, equal opportunities, support system, and the confidence we can do it. If I can do it as a minority in my class, all the other young girls can as well, and all my other female friends as well. I was given the right resources, opportunities, and support system at the time I needed it. And this is what we need to give to other females as well. So I would like to do the activity again. I would like you all to close your eyes again. And then will you see a slightly different image? Or do you still picture a man as an engineer, as a scientist, working in STEM? Do you guys see the same image? Well, you can see your sister, right? Yeah, so she paved the way to engineering field or she's trying to? I saw her the first time and I'm seeing her again. So that's great. We need support for the family and she's a prime example of it. She's supporting her sister. So we need brothers, fathers, husbands to support the female parts of, this, uh, of the family. So now I would like all of you to raise your hands if you will go home and ask the female members of your family if they want to pursue STEM, you are at their back. Well, I see quite a lot of fans and I believe that my job here is done. Thank you so much.